me stop having those thoughts. Happy Wise Wednesday. What's up, y'all? How's everybody feeling? What's the vibes? I'm so grateful and glad to have you here because your time is valuable, okay? So let's utilize it effectively, efficiently, and impactfully. Yes, ma'am? If you're new here, what's up? I'm so grateful to have you here. I am Shariah Wise. I'm a being who creates to inspire high vibrational living. I've been playing with like the, the terminology high frequency over high vibrational recently, so we'll see if that introduction changes. But regardless, I'm here to create, to inspire high vibrational, high frequency living. So as I actively learn, evolve, and create my heaven on earth, I share and then we create a community where we can just be authentically ourselves, evolve, and get better together. Yes, ma'am? Okay, so if you wanna know more about me, definitely just stick to the end of this video, but we are gonna start talking about what we're here to talk about, which is how do we stop negative thoughts? How can we stop thoughts that we don't want to have, that we don't resonate with, that we don't identify with? How can we stop having those thoughts? And to be honest, you don't stop those thoughts. But what you do is know. It's about a knowing and a remembrance. And this knowing triggers action. Here's the knowing that I received when I was meditating. Okay, here's the thing. We're all part of a collective consciousness, right? So we are souls in a human vessel, right? And we are here to experience this game of life called Earth, right? And that is like what our human vessel allows our soul to do, right? Because the body is just the vessel. It's the vehicle, right? And so we're part of a collective consciousness. With each of us as individuals being a part of a collective consciousness, we have access to thoughts that may not be our own. So we're also gonna think about it this way. Our mind is a river. Our mind is a river. The brain is what holds the mind. The mind is the river, right? And then you see like things that float across the river. And it could be a beautiful, extravagant cruise ship or it could be a piece of garbage that you may want to pick up and throw out, you know what I'm saying, or you just may want to ignore. But regardless, our mind is the river. And so we, as human beings, as people who observe our mind and what we're, the thoughts that we're having, we are just the observer, right? So we're the observer, our mind is the river, and things that flow across our minds, we can choose to identify with it or not, right? Also remembering that we have an ego. As humans, we have an ego. And I like to look at ego as the human filter, right? And so with this human filter, the ego, the ego is what allows us to be, the ego is what allows us to be human, period, right? And so on earth, there are some denser energies that the ego, the human can ex can experience and feel, such as worry, or doubt, or lack, or, you know what I'm saying? Those low vibrational, denser energies, I call them egoic energies, right? We also have thoughts that can be created from the ego, which we can also choose to identify with or not, right? And so really, it's about muscle memory. It's about training your mind and training yourself, training your awareness to, if you have a thought that isn't what you want for yourself, you can either choose to deal with it, so you can pick it up out the river and throw it away, you can deal with it, or it can be something that you fully don't identify with and it may, be, it may not be coming from an ego version of you, right? A more egoic version of you. It could just be something part of the collective consciousness because also remember, it's like, I look at the collective consciousness like this. We're the observer, our mind is the river. Our, our The river, our mind, eventually it like has access and flows into the ocean, which is like the collective consciousness, right? So playing with this idea and consciously knowing, okay, I am the observer and I get to choose how I deal with thoughts if I even deal with them. Cause some thoughts, you literally just push them shits to the, excuse my language, but you just push it to the side, dismiss it, let it flow away. Go, go back into collective consciousness cause I'm not gonna deal with you cause you're not even mine to deal with. Or it could be something that is yours, that could be attached more so to the more egoic version of you, right? And so with me saying this, cause I'm saying like the egoic version of us, right? So let me also just say this to clarify. We are the observer. We have 
our ego, which is tethered to our human being, and then we have our higher self, the best expression of ourself that is attached to our divine being. And we have a, a dance and a mingling between the egoic version of us, which is attached to our human being, and the, the, the our higher self version of us, which is attached to our divine being, which all just meshes together to, to create us. For, to be us, you know what I'm saying? For us to have our version of how we express ourselves in this world, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to clarify that. Getting back to the point though, consistently reminding yourself to be present allows you to keep your mind and your focus on the present moment. Not saying that you won't have moments where you may be daydreaming, remembering your mind is a vehicle, right? That's why like, it's very good to stay present because if you allow yourself, your mind can be in the past and you could be dealing with depression or you could be too much in the future and now you're anxious. But presence is peace. There's a lot of peace in the present. So me, literally, this is a, a mindfulness hack, mindfulness trick that is very impactful and that I'm actually gonna, I think now with, with me saying this, I'm going to share this on my TikTok, right? I have alarms every hour on the hour that say I am present just to remind myself I am present I am present I am here in this moment I am present I'm seeing what is right now being present in and of itself is mindfulness first it's about remembering or knowing right that we are part of the collective consciousness we are the observer we have free will and choice and power to choose what happens with a thought whether it gets dismissed whether we deal with it and we deal with it in many ways inner child work affirmations or just like energy release working with the moon however you deal with it right but you can deal with that thought or you can also on the contrary you can identify with thoughts as well you can have a brilliant thought that you could be like wow whether that's from my divine being whether that's from the collective consciousness i choose to identify with that popping ass thought you know what i'm saying it's not always negative right but we are here to talk about how we stop negative thoughts the way you stop it to get down to the point the way you stop negative thoughts is to stop giving energy or deal with that negative thought if it's something that is coming from maybe a, a bruised more in pain hurtful less healed part of you and if that's a thought where it's emanating from well maybe it's worth dealing with it right that's why you take that trash out the the, the river and you throw that shit out you deal with it however you deal with it or you dismiss it so when you allow yourself to be present right and you acknowledge a thought that you're having and you don't like that thought you don't want to identify with that thought you can either deal with it right or you can just dismiss it regardless dismissing it also is a form of dealing with it as long as it's not something that's going to come back around you know what i'm saying when i say come back around something that has to be dealt with is something from like your inner child or from like childhood trauma things like that thoughts like that maybe that has to be dealt with right but then there's other crazy thoughts that we may get that we don't gotta deal with because it's just part of the collective consciousness it floats across the river and i know it's a little bit repetitive but stick with me it floats across the river and you can allow it to go back to the ocean collective consciousness the first step we have to just consciously remember that we are part of a collective consciousness and we have egoic maybe more fear-based thoughts the first thing we do acknowledge it the second thing we do choose in that moment of being present how am i going to deal with this is it something favorable am i going to identify with it is it something that is not even mine i really don't have to deal with it i can just ignore and dismiss it or is it something that's stemming or coming from a less healed or part of me that has to be healed is it coming from there and should i deal with it make that choice and then you act accordingly and the more you do that, the more you can allow yourself to be present, to remember to do that. Because the, 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 here's the trick with this, you have to remain present. That's why I mentioned um, having um, hourly alarms that say I am present, literally, literally. You have to remain present because when you're present enough, then you can actually acknowledge and see what's happening and deal with it in a more intentional way and the more you do this the more you will create muscle memory to consistently acknowledge and identify with i mean acknowledge all thoughts identify with what you want and dismiss or deal with the ones you don't you're gonna naturally find that you create more muscle memory so you do it more and the more you do it the more your focus is literally attuned to all the thoughts that you want to have so you never actually lose 
the negative thoughts but it's just like you have trained your minds by repetition so much to the point where it's like your focus is only on the thoughts that are serving and identifying with you anyway right and if there is a thought that comes along that is something you feel needs to be dealt with rather than dismissed then you deal with it in more graceful ways because you have created the focus and the norm and the routine and the muscle memory that your focus is naturally going to be on the good or creating good from a, a thought that has to be dealt with i really hope that this made sense to you i'm so serious this is a download that i got in meditation actually maybe like going on two weeks ago now and i've been you know just not necessarily waiting but there's just been certain blocks that i wasn't going to fight up against to get this video out but i'm so happy that i was just able to get this idea out okay so just to reiterate we are the observer we choose how we deal with the thought after we deal with the thought we continue doing it repetitively so every time you have a negative thought you deal with it or you dismiss it and naturally with you consistently doing that and staying present enough so that you can remember to do that and you're not letting your mind just go and do whatever being present enough to consistently remember to do that will literally start to you will start to see your reality shifting you will start to see your state of being shifting you will start to feel more peaceful because you're present there's like i said there's a lot of peace in the present and you will create that muscle memory and because of that, your focus will naturally just be attuned to all the thoughts that are serving you. So it's going to feel in your body like you've gotten rid of negative thoughts. When in actuality, you just trained your mind to focus on the thoughts that were serving you. And if there's a thought that comes up that has to be dealt with, you deal with it more gracefully. Because you have trained your state of being to be that way. And I really just wanted to get this idea out. And so... By the time of me releasing this video, I would have already released my um, my mindfulness practices and my mindfulness routine. Because another way that will help all of these thoughts and like dealing with the thoughts and identifying or not identifying with the thoughts, it will make all of this feel easier and feel more effortless and in flow because your mindfulness practices will just allow you to embody more of a peaceful state of being. Like when I tell you I am a peaceful ass bitch, but that's also because I really keep up with my mindfulness practices. I don't do anything before I have done my all, my entire mindfulness routine. So if it's in alignment, definitely check out my mindfulness routine video. I'll have it linked in the description because a way to just allow this whole journey and process of really training your mind, this is all just us training our mind because I'm also learning, and this is a sidebar, and we'll get back to the point, but I'm also learning that like, yo, this world is, how can I say it? This entire world, matrix, whatever you wanna refer to this as, is powered by the computer and technology of our mind. But we're not taught that. At least not mainstream, but regardless, I feel like I got my point across, and I'm really just grateful that you stuck it out with me. And if you're still here to the end of this video, put in the comment section, flowers. Put any kind of flower emoji that is feeling that you're feeling called to, just put a flower of some kind, emoji form in the comments, just so I know that you made it to the end of this video. And it just helps me just to kind of see like who is sticking to the end to make sure that these videos are worth creating. You know what I mean? I feel like it is worth creating, but I just wanna make sure more so that you guys are actually interested in this content, right? But like, y'all, this download came to me a few weeks ago and it just made perfect sense. And it's common sense to me now, but it's almost like you gotta be on a certain journey and like what's common, what's supposed to be common sense will be common sense in the time that it's supposed to feel like common sense to you right and so i'm just grateful to be here and i wanted to share and i'm just grateful that you're here too baby y'all i really just hope that there was one thing in this video that was impactful for you and let me know what that is like what did i say that stood out most to you and also what do you have to say like what what ideas and practices have you implemented for yourself or have been recommended to kind of help us 
guide ourselves and navigate our own mind and heal our own state of being so that we can stop focusing on thoughts that don't identify or that we don't want to identify with and not only have more positive thoughts oh another thing that i have to mention in this video oh my gosh so important i'm so glad i remembered this before i ended the video before we end the video another thing that i have to also mention is the more that you practice this the more that it becomes muscle memory as we train our minds to deal or dismiss thoughts that we don't identify with or we don't want to identify with and we start to focus on the thoughts that we do identify with we're going to emanate that energy out into the universe and we are going to start to attract even more thoughts that are more in alignment with what we actually want into our consciousness because it's like the collective consciousness is within us and without us so us having thoughts emanates within us and without us so we're going to be able to have access and attract what is in alignment because now that you're focusing on what is more in alignment now you're going to attract thoughts that are also more in alignment which will inevitably create your your reality to show you the thoughts that you're focused on which is what is in alignment so your reality will become in alignment because everything is triggered by our subconscious programming that's it and that's all that is the end of this video you guys so if this video was feeling like it was in alignment definitely also if you liking the vibes definitely subscribe if you like the vibe subscribe yes ma'am if you like the vibe subscribe if you like the vibe subscribe uh-huh if you like the vibe subscribe if you like the vibe subscribe all right bet now that we got that out the way like I said, definitely let me know in the comments what you're feeling. What did I say that resonated with you? What do you have to say? Share because what you have to say is impactful. And to me and anyone else that comes across your comment, we needed to come across that comment. So if you have something to say, say it. Your voice is so powerful. Your ideas and your thoughts and your knowings and your opinions and expression. As long as we're saying everything with love and discernment, it's impactful. You know what I'm saying? Check out my Otherwise Wednesdays. Check out some vlogs. Follow me on all my other platforms. I have links down in the description. Instagram, TikTok. Every platform gets a little bit of a different version of Shariah Wise. You know what I'm saying? So if it's feeling like it's in alignment, check out my other platforms. Also, since you a bad bitch music, meditation to raise your bad bitch vibrations guys I created a music meditation because music is such a powerful vehicle that can help us to reprogram our subconscious mind so that we can like like I said the subconscious mind our mind is the program computer that runs our whole entire world so we have to take actions of mindfulness to help us reprogram it so that we can become and be more in alignment with what we actually want right and so the sis you a bad bitch music meditation is a music meditation so off rip it's easy and it's fun and you can and the more you do it the better it gets because you learn the words and it becomes your state of being and you allow yourself and your mind to be fully submerged in the vibrant energies that you are inevitably attracting and that you're here to attract and create and have for yourself it allows us to really just be one with that energy for a solid seven to eight minutes right that's powerful that's so so powerful and i call it the sis you a bad bitch music meditation to raise your bad bitch vibrations because for me bad bitch vibrations is all about like being your divine feminine self like being attractive and alluring and also having the the essence and the uh, the confidence and esteem within you and the knowing within you to detach from what it is that you are attracting but also facilitating and using the masculine energy within us for us to get things done so that we can support our divine feminine energy so that we can create and have the soft life for ourselves right so what i recommend if you don't do anything else Go to the website, links down in the description, and just read the reviews because the meditation is helping so many divine feminine bad bitches, divine feminine energies to create and have the life that they are here to have. So if it feels like it's in alignment, link in the description, okay? Regardless of that, you guys, I'm so grateful that you were here and you listened to me and like also I really want to listen to you like I said, so I'll just say one more time. 
Share how you're feeling in the comments. If you have any insight, advice, questions, even opinions. And if you see someone that has a question and you can respond to that question, respond to that question. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to also get to every comment that I see and that I can because hopefully this video get, go, blows up and everyone can feel the impact. And there's so many comments that I can't get to all of them. But you know what I'm saying? We're manifesting. So... Regardless, I know this video is going to reach who it reaches and I'm going to do my due diligence to respond back as well. Okay, you guys. So thank you so much again. So much gratitude and love to you. Keep up with your mindfulness practices. And um, yes, you guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. Keep your thoughts focused also on what you want. But this, that's I always say this at the end of the videos and that's what this whole video was about. So I'm not going to even say it. Okay, because we know and we're staying present. That's a better thing to say. Remain present. Stay present because there's so much so much peace and power in the present. Yes, ma'am. I love you so 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 much and until my next video, I will see you next time. Mwah!